Hi guys, Rustic Red here. I want to make you a quick video and show you my newest purchase of my fourth and probably my final shotgun buy. Uh, this is a 12 gauge bolt action shotgun. The make and model is a Mossberg 395 KB. It was made from 1963 to 1985 and I found this one online and it shipped all the way from uh, Ohio to the West Coast and it is in fantastic condition. I haven't taken it out to the range just yet because uh, I have discovered that there is some rust in the bolt assembly and I need to figure out how to take it apart and clean it out properly before I send any kind of shots down the barrel. But besides that, the rest of the gun is in excellent condition. Uh, yeah, the barrel looks really good. It looks as if it's been uh, re-blued. The stock is great. There's no cracks. And I have not seen any pitting in the gun at all. Now it's got a 28 inch barrel. It's got an adjustable poly choke, which you can't really see very well in this shot. Uh, but it's got the options of cylinder, modified, full choke, beaded sight, two shot magazine, could hold another one in the chamber, tang safety, and here's my shotgun collection which is expanded quickly over the last four months from one which I've had for quite a few years to a total of four, all of which are 12 gauge, they all have three inch chambers, and really like the variety here where we have synthetic stock, we have wood stock, we have modern, and we have some old school ones. And the bolt action in particular really helps uh, add a little bit more variety even though it's mostly a thing of the past. It's really nice to have uh, something like this, something new, something different, or <laughs> rather old and different in the collection. Something just to enjoy. You know, I'm really looking forward to sharing sharing this with uh, friends of mine, take them out on the range and they can tell other people, hey yeah I've shot a bolt action shotgun. So I did show some other people some pictures of this thing and they were trying to guess the make and model and they would ask, okay so what caliber? And one guy in particular who has guns and really likes guns, when he asked me what caliber I told him 12 gauge, he's like, 12 gauge? That, that's a thing? So I go on to tell him that back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, bolt action shotguns were a lot more common. Or at least, I mean, they were never as popular as the brake, brake pump, or semi auto, but they were, they were available. And so many different companies made them. And they were a lot cheaper and affordable than most of the other kinds of shotguns out there. Just a few years ago, I was reading through a gun catalog that was printed in 1980. And there were a plethora of uh, different shotgun types, and the brake action, pump, and semi-auto make and models vastly outnumbered the amount of bolt action they had, but there were a lot of choices for the bolt action. I was really su I was surprised how many there really were. Um, but since the 80s on, the bolt action shotgun has really declined, and... As of now, it is mostly a thing of the past, unfortunately. As I've mentioned, this one ceased production in 1985, and this was made by Mossberg. And I believe Mossberg uh, ceased making bolt-action shotguns in 2003, with their last model being the 695. The only company or companies, possibly, that I know of who still make them today are Savage and Tar Hunt. Now, I was also really surprised to hear from a guy at, a, at another local uh, gun shop mentioned that he has had fishermen walk into his office saying that they were looking for a 12-gauge bolt action because they wanted, to, they wanted to have it on hand in case they had any encounters with black bears. They wanted specifically for slugs. I was really surprised to hear that, that they would request a bolt action shotgun, you know, to take down a bear, which I have no doubt that a, a slug can take take a bear down no problem. I was just surprised that they were requesting or looking for a bolt action shotgun specifically. 
As some of you may already know, I have wanted to have a 12 gauge bolt action shotgun for quite a long time. Um, I looked around, I checked pawn shops, uh, and I've eventually resorted down to looking online. I would have much rather walked into a store and found one and uh, just picked it up right then and there, but it was rare when I would find one, and when I would, it was in poor condition and overpriced. This one I found for about 250 for the gun itself. I did end up having to pay more for the shipping and the transfer fees, of course, but at the end of the day, I ended up paying around, if I remember, like somewhere between 350 to 375, which I could deal with that personally. And and uh, when I walked up, to, when I walked up to the gun counter to to finally bring this home after waiting for about a week and a half or so, a lot of people are just looking at this thing and like, wow, like a 12 gauge bolt action shotgun, those things really exist? Wow. So I was able to tell you a few things that I've told you now. Uh, but there there was also but there was a customer there who was not surprised. He told me that he had a Marlin 55. I think the model was the 55 if I remember right, but I know exactly which one he was talking about. He said it had like a 36 inch barrel that was used for shooting at geese that were in high altitudes. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video informative. Hopefully you learned something new. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.